of Hebrew Israelites feed yourself. Uh, I want to invite you into my uh, my little area where I cook. I don't cook with the daughters of Zion. And they have that liberty, so I have a place because I love to cook. But I want to share some things with you. I have a few verses here I want to read to you. Come on in, my little, in my little place here. This is where the preacher man does his cooking. But I'm pretty decent at cooking, too. Come on in the house for a minute. Uh, we, we got these. Uh, we use walkie-talkies, too. This is a large place. This is how we communicate and everything. So I want to share a little bit with you before I began. First of all, let me show you what I have here today. Let me turn this light on. Which one is that? I think it's that one, right? Ah, look what I have. This is what I have. This is, um, this is a sauce here ah, that I, I made. It has, uh, is, I, I will brush this on last garlic uh, and mango juice and, and a Hawaiian sauce with a little teriyaki. Different flavors, but it's spicy. These, the one behind the camera, they love spices and things like that. Yes, sir. And by the way, this is that. I'll set that there for now. I'll get this on the grill in a minute. Look at that. That's a spicy turkey. They will love. They're going to enjoy. Now, I know what you're saying. And this is a, a, this is a sweet turkey for my children. This is a sauce of teriyaki and uh, mango juice. And I'll base this with this mango juice continuously until the latter part and I brush on the seasoning. But I want to share with you, all right? I, I want you to understand that this is an ignorant generation. I want to read from Torah. I have, this is not something that I've concocted. These are, these are the kitve of Yan. We are so ignorant that we're beyond correction. We go off assumption. We're not students to study and labor to understand things. That uh, the reason I'm doing this is because there are you that will write me and say, don't you know that the turkey is unclean? It's a lie. It's a lie. While it will eat anything, it's a lie. Turkeys eat berries and grains and things like that. It is not of the vulture family. I'm gonna prove this from Torah, all right? Let me ask you all a question. Do you know what ornithology is? No, you don't even know. You that will critique me and criticize me, you don't even know what ontology is or what an ornithologist is and an ornithologist is. It is the study of birds, every kind of bird, uh, uh, the, 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 their, their, their migration, their patterns, every aspect, the physicality, how they derive in the form. Uh, that is what an ontologist is. We don't really have the decency to study things out. We speak from speculation of our own ignorance. Now, I want to show us something here. I want to read from Torah now. I don't care what the ontology says, but I want to read from Torah. I want to share this from Dibarim. It is only what? Uh, it's only seven verses. I want you to understand. The Turk is clean. The chicken is clean. One writes to me and said, don't you know that chicken eats human doo-doo. Can I tell you something, ignorant people? I'm a very ignorant man. I'm not a stupid man. That is stupidity in his, in his height. Let me show you something, nation. The person that said that has no idea that a bass is clean and they will eat human waste, throw it in the pond. How do you know? Because uh, we have put turkey litter in our ponds uh, to, for the nutrients or, or, or to create the kind of aquatic life in the bottom that is needed. To, and believe me, those bluegills, the bass, they will eat that. The crappie, they will eat it. You can go, if you don't believe me, go to a lake, river, or pond, press something preferably a pond, take your waste, and throw it in there and see if the bluegill or the bass will eat it. Mm -hmm. This is... This is such stupidity. It's insane that people are that ignorant. And these are the ones that want to teach me. You can't teach me. You got to come better than that. And so I want to read from Tibarim. Tibarim 
chapter 14, you all know it, verse 11, I want to begin reading. It says, of all clean sepor, or birds, of all of them you shall eat. So what clean birds can we eat? No one answers that now. They will tell you the turkey is a part of the vulture family. It is false. It is a lie. You must go through to the uh, to the uh, 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 unto the study of birds to understand what an or, uh, ontologist would say and identify the class of birds. I cooked some duck, a baked some duck the other day. One says, uh, "Oh, don't you know that's a part of the swan family?" It's a lie. It's stupid. Look at what Ibrahim Yas says. There are birds we can eat. All I ask one of y'all post me what birds we can eat. Please, I want you that are smart, intelligent. I'm not an intelligent man. I'm not a smart man. I want you to post me the birds you can eat. Tell me. He says, of all clean birds, you shall eat. He doesn't identify the clean ones. He gives us no names, but he makes a statement here. We can eat them. He said, but, that conjunction, but these are they which you shall not eat. He talks about the neshiach. It's a buzzard. He calls it the eagle. And I will show you what the neshiach is. It is a vulture. It is the griffin vulture. These are buzzards. Buzzards eat decaying, rotten, putrefied things. A turkey will not eat that. A chicken loves grain and all that. Any beast or any animal will nibble on something. That doesn't mean that that's their diet. The diet of a chicken, they will stretch, they will eat baits. Will you eat a bait? They will eat all kinds of unclean bugs. He said, but the nashir, and that is what that word means, nashir. It is forms of vultures, unclean birds. And the matter of fact, you couldn't even identify a vulture. You city folks would even would not even know what one looks like. You come here, you couldn't even identify a vulture, a buzzard, an eagle. You couldn't even identify it. Ah, maybe an eagle. He says, and you shall not eat of the osprey or the osnia. What is an osprey? It is a form of an eagle. It is what you will call the black eagle. There are many forms of, of eagles, my friends. You can't eat of that. He talks about the glito or the ra'a. And this is what the oncologist says. Perhaps, they don't know, perhaps a kite or hawk. They don't even know the expression of this terminology He in Torah. He says you should not eat of the kite or the Aya, and the aya, the kite, it is, it is a form of this buzzard. It is a hawk or a falcon. That's what he's talking about. These birds are a prey. And he says, and no vulture after its kind. How do you know what a vulture is or, or something of that kind? It is one that preys on smaller animals. Birds, chickens don't prey on other chickens. Turkeys don't prey on turkeys. They don't prey on turkeys to kill them, to eat them. He's showing us the form here. So please don't comment. Don't even write me with your stupidity, all right? Don't waste my time. You notice I don't even respond to people like that because your ignorance is pronounced. He goes on to tell us of their kind now. He tells us in Dibarim, Deuteronomy 14, 14. He talks about the Oreb or the raven. Now... If I brought you the Teshua and say to you, we have all kinds of birds here, point out the raven for me. Most of you couldn't even point out a raven. Most of you. I would go to the extreme. 99% of you all could not point out a raven. You wouldn't even know what it was. And a raven, what does it do? Well, it will eat decaying matters, but it will also go out and pluck up Every kernel of corn you plant, every seed, there's some bad boys. They will watch you plant, and they'll go right behind you and pick your seeds. And they will. I know what I'm saying. And no kind of raven. You don't know one raven from another. He talks about the kus. 
in verse 15, and that is the owl. He talks about uh, the Tachmasiya. He talks about that which, uh, uh, look, he talks about, and the night hawk. The owl is, of course, and most of you will not even know what an owl is. You couldn't even identify one. You that live in cities and things like that, you don't see things like that. I do. You that said you lived in the country of the young, you don't know how to identify things like that. He talks about this, uh, this night hawk, this night hawk. And there is no identity to that. And there's only one expression that the ontologist gives us. Uh, it is the name of a male ostrich. It is a male ostrich. It's no, not the female, just a lion, uh, uh, the, the male. Lioness and lion. Two different. Even the Torah identifies them different in their name. Whether it's a female or a male, even in the Hebrew language is different. He also talks about and the, uh, and the kuska or the shafcha. What do you know about a shafcha? You probably never looked the word up. You probably never tried to experiment or uh, experience the details of that. You heard something, you buy it. That's silly. That's crazy. And it is what they will call the seagull. The seagull. And there's a reason for that. And the hawks after his kind. In 16 it says, uh, and the little owl, the coos, the little owl, and the great Isle, and it is Yonshuf, Yonshuf, and this is what the uh, 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 ontologist says, that perhaps, they don't know what it is, perhaps, it is a hero, it is a hero, and it talks about the swan, well someone says, well the swan uh, is of the same family as a, uh, as a, uh, as a, as a duck, that's a lie, they don't even know what, to, they, the swan is perhaps, Perhaps a, 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 a kind of eagle or a form like that. The ornithologists don't even know. So the duck did not come from the swan. Your stupidity tells you that. And not only that, but it talks about in verse 17, uh, the kaath or the pelagant. And it says this, probably the pelagant or the kanaf, because of the vomiting it does, the unclean but they really don't know the form of what it represents or what it says or what it means. And then it talks about the gear or the racha. It is a kind of vulture or the gear eagle or even the komarat. What is a komarat? It is a shulach. If I asked you what a komarat was, could you tell me? You couldn't tell me. Even the ornithologists can. They say perhaps, maybe, not you, but it is of the same family as the pelican. I'm naming what Torah says. It talks about in 18, and the stork, or the chasida, the chasida. We understand what a stork stands in the water catfish, and uh, the heron, or the afnafav. That one here, the heron, even the best of science cannot tell you what it is, and this is what it says. Perhaps, maybe, it's a parrot. That's what it is. So what birds do we eat? We, we can eat the sparrow, the blue jay, the red bird. Gain much meat on that. <laughs> Tell me what you're going to eat. You can't, you can't eat the chicken. But he stated out of all clean birds. Mm -hmm. There are clean birds. Our stupidity commands us to respond with stupidity. Our stupidity. Stupidness commands us to respond that way. You are stupid when you don't take time to understand the detailed analysis of anything in life. And then he goes on to say, uh, let me ask you this. You can even the Huron uh, after its kind. Uh, and what is the lapwing or the Dukhafa? What is the lapwing? You can't tell me what it is because science doesn't know. It says, can I read what it says? Perhaps a derivative of the hoopy. Now, a lot of people say that the chicken came from the hoopy. That is so stupid. Or of the grouse. They don't know. Don't deprive. It's one thing of people of my hue. 
They love fried chicken. Why? Because during the time of slavery, that's all they had. And the Mr. Colonel Sanders saw how finger, not finger, licking good it was, as they would say. And the man became a billionaire, an industry. Mm -hmm. Why do we, it's not a stereotype. That's all we had. We can afford the tourist cuts of beef. But that chicken, mm -hmm. grandmammy could make that thing talk to you. Mm -hmm. Eat you bones and all, she fried that bad boy. That's why, people. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you go back to Divarim 1411 of all clean birds you shall eat. Tell me one. Show me one that the Torah names. He gives us the unclean ones. And this is a stupidity that is beyond comprehension. It's sad that we are so ignorant of things. And you put a burden on you that are on your resources that are limited by chicken. You can go even, I don't promote no Walmart, but they sell a nice little free range, no chemicals or anything bird. You get one for about $5. It's worth to spend that than to buy that stuff that is nasty, all right? Mm -hmm. And they sell an organic chicken for about $8 here in the South, they do. So I, you, you can do chicken with anything with chicken. Grandmammy could, they can make a chicken work. Same thing with turkey. We only ate that at these pagan days. So you persons that think you're smart, and you are smart, you are smart, but you're ignorant. We are going to eat some turkey today, and our babies are going to enjoy that pleasantry. Hebrews, feed yourself. And I'll tell you what, when they mark these turkeys down, especially the organic ones, if you can get them, go buy them. If you can't afford, get the other ones. You're not going to die. These folks that think because they're eating organic, I do grow, and we grow organically here. Now we do. There is no, there is no, uh, no kind of pretense here. I don't say it's organic and it's not. Our cows, you've seen them, they're healthy. One say these are the healthiest looking cows. I've seen no shots and nothing. Nothing in them. We're gonna butcher one, you'll see that. But don't let someone destroy your Oh, your understanding of things. You listen to this man. Let me put this on the grill. This is the first day of the week. We are here to have a great time. Now the boys are playing. We're going to, we're going to cook here today. Oh, by the way, we're going to have turkeys. We're going to have oxtails. We're going to have our... All right, boys. Pop this on the camera. These are my boys right here. Hi, Ah, uh, look at them. Hey, little ones. Hey, Kavita. I'm cooking you all some sweet turkey today. Ah, oh, oh, look at all yeah. what she has in her hand. Mmm, mmm. Are they sweet? We saw cooking. strawberries on We You saw them? Well, what are you cooking? They're growing. Ah, they're growing? Yes, sir. Okay, these are my babies here. Look at how beautiful that bird is. You tell Whoa. me we're not going to eat that? <clears throat> that is a bird. Yeah, that's a big old turkey. You know what that Whoa, is. Oh, that's mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We're going to put those seasons on that. We're going to get that right. How about that? Big old turkey. Yeah, we're going to cook big that thing. Turkey. Is that pretty? Look at my daughters. Look at all of them. I can see me Huh? This is my Davida here. Oh, I need to take that out. Can't take it out. Here, Sep Sherry, take that in the kitchen for me, please. Get right there. Huh? Ooh. Let me have one of those towels right there. Hava, this is my Hava right here. All right, our beautiful doors. This is one of my grills here. It should work. I'll make it work. Ah, that's it. I got this. I can't. All right. Get you out of there. All right. She 
ain't that hot yet. Look at all my little babies. Look at my Vita Vita. Look at my beautiful babies here. Hey, Daddy. Hey, That's his daddy on that. He wants you to know. Daddy. Whew. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll be right back. Come on, Yosipia. Yes, sir. We'll be right back, y'all. One more turkey. Here, here, wait. I got one more. These are my babies. They love when Poppy cooks. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. One more. One more turkey. Ah. Yes, sir. I got another one. Chop, chop. I have, I have five. All right. Hold that for me, Weed. Hold that in your hand. Now be careful. Don't, don't lean it like that. It's, it'll just keep it. What are y'all going to pick in? What are y'all, what all do we get? What all we got out of the garden? Oh, how about one of y'all, uh, Hadassah, what do y'all get? They're getting tomatoes. All right, this is Whoa. my sweet turkey. Whoa. All right. Both of them. We just gonna let these cook today. That's right. You see that? That's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, whether you think it's pretty or not, it's still pretty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rest this pan on the leaf. Let me see. I'm gonna slide it right in. Yeah, I'm gonna do you like this. I'm trying to be mean. These are the, the necks and all of that. They're going to be nice and sweet. Mm. I'm going to do you last. I'd like to take that and say, put, put, sit it in the refrigerator for me in the dining hall. Right here in my place. All right, got that on? Hmm? What are you eating, little girl? This is my Vida Vida here. Look at it. Come here, Vida. Say shalom to everyone. Look at my beautiful little babies. They love puppy. Is that sweet? Look at Mr. Jealous here. Say shalom. Shalom. Say yabarach. Yabaruch. Yabaruch. All right. Isn't she beautiful? All of them. Y'all gotta eat that. All right. Let me go with that. We'll put some more charcoal, huh? You got some honors. Look at that from our garden. And what a blessing that our babies can grow up in an environment. That's charcoal, my friend. Yes, ma'am. Oh, take that in there for me, please. You'll go in there and wash my dishes up there as you wash them up, okay? Please, throw that. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to put me a nice piece of oak in there. It's a nice piece of oak, man. And she'll cook. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to leave that alone. We'll check back in about an hour. They are big. I have enough for you. I like them. I know you like them. Hey, pretty. Boom, my Davida. Look at this. We call her Yafef. What is your baby sister's name? What's her name? What's her name? And what's her other name? Tifra. She's what? Is she beautiful? Is she sweet? If she's my favorite person, yes, you ready to go play, huh? That's a sea salt. <laughs> you going to play? You going to bake me something? What you going to bake me? You got to tell me. What you going to cook me? Some watermelon. You going to cook me some watermelon? Yes, sir. And what else? Some chicken. 
Oh, <laughs> some chicken and what else? <laughs> uh -huh. My babies. Some tomatoes. Oh, I like that. Will you go fry me some chicken, all right? I won't put you down over here. I don't want you. I know you're gonna run and hurt yourself. All right, fry Poppy some chicken. See you. Look at it. Bye. <laughs> what a beautiful thing our children can grow up in an environment. Yeah, so drug true. free. So true. Prostitution, we have a committee going, the women on the corner mm -hmm. selling. You call yourself Hebrews. You're the most unsocial lies people there is. You don't want to be around each other. That's right. You'd rather be around a dog and live next door to a dog instead of creating an oasis, a beautiful place. It's mm -hmm. simple. Yes. Well, tell me you can't sure. do it. I was saying to my Ak, you see Piyan Zakin last night, how he passed this huge farm. I said, that's about five, 6,000 acres. I said, we had that. You could buy that in the South for about $7 million. There are groups that have spent $1 million on Pesach, Passover. You buy a piece of land that, like that, you began with your infrastructure. And you got all forms of men. You got, it's big enough for two or 3,000 people. You can do everything there. Your school will be renowned. Your, your people, they will come from all over the world, but you gotta have sincere leaders. Mm -hmm. Not jackasses that rob and take from the people and lay with the daughters of Zion. That's wickedness. Yeah. I'm telling you to have two or three wives, these dirty bastards. You cannot even have two masters. You're gonna love one and hate the other. You can't even have two wives. You're gonna like this one better. That's a lie, man. You're filthy, dirty liar. These are dogs, and they prey on the stupidity and the simplicity of ignorant women. Write me and show me what birds you can eat, all right? I don't want you to show me the ones I can't eat. Show me with some form of proof, all right? Show me, show me through the discovery of anthology that says that a chicken is an unclean thing. And I will show you that the bass will eat human doo-doo. There ain't too many things won't eat human doo-doo. Mm -hmm. They like humans doo-doo. They like humans doo-doo. Look okay, at what it is. Cows will eat doo-doo. Cows will eat doo-doo from this region. At one time, uh, they will take the turkey litter or doo-doo and put it in kilns and, and, and destroy all the microbiotics that will be offensive to cows and they will feed that for feed. And the cows love it. So you don't know what you're doing when you go into this. So what is all organic? What has been eating, has been eating turkey doo doo? We're some silly people. Yes. You worrying about uh, chemtrails and all that? Ah, I'm not worrying about chemtrails. I'm not worrying about what this world can do. I'm not worrying about. Uh, uh, the word is what heals me constantly. He sent forth his word to heal Yisrael. Mm -hmm. Come on, I want to share, share, share something. Come on, Yosef. Yeah. We're going to take a little look, and then we're going we're gonna to have two parts of this video, so you, you'll see it, all right? I, I'm real. Hold, hold up. Let me get my... You got to have my coffee. Now, of course, there are those that say you shouldn't drink coffee, and... They get drunk. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Come on, follow me, son. There are those that say you shouldn't drink coffee. But I drink what they, there are those that say you can't, you can't eat mushrooms. Let me ask you a question. Now, I will show you how ignorant people are. Stand right there. It is one thing that is vital. How many of y'all like blueberries? Ah! How many of y'all eat blueberries? Ah! It's one thing about a blueberry. There is a fungus that grows on the root and they complement each other. You can't have blueberries and that fungus on the root of blueberries. So there's fungus on the root. Does that DNA goes into the berry? We're stupid. Without the fungus of that blueberry, you will never have blueberries. And they relate to each other and they complement each other and they help each other. And you got to have that fungus and there's a raw fungus to every do your research, man. Let me get my coffee. All right, you gentlemen. Come on in. Come on in, Josephine. No, don't. You just pour that out, daughter. Where's my coffee? Don't mess with this stuff over here. Now. Yes, sir. Look at this beautiful cucumber out of the garden. You don't have to bend down like this. Look at that. 
You want to make something with it. Here, here's some garlic, a few things in the refrigerator, some garlic and all that stuff. Don't turn the stove on, okay? Yes, sir. All right, you all just make something with that. Come on, let her in. That's our young daughter. One day she'll she'll marry. And have a beautiful man like her father. Isn't that right? She will have a husband like a daddy. Strong. Let's run over here right quick. Come on, follow me. I want to show you what it takes. You know, people think that you can do this for nothing. It takes my cameraman, his beauty. I will not live here with beautiful, he has a beautiful family, sons and daughters. I will live in a damn place that will rob me and my family, abuse me with language that is absurd and take advantage of my, I will not live here. I will not be here, and he would be a fool to stay here mm -hmm. if that's the way his family is intrigued. But he knows that. That's right. He knows where every dime goes, mm -hmm. where the money goes. He sees it. True. You can't build a place like this, somebody giving $50 and they're spending 200 No. It doesn't work that way. It's true. Oh, look at that one. Look at our Sharia. This is Zahin's daughter. Zahin. Oh, they're going to make something. <laughs> Come on, Yosefia. I want to show you what it takes to run a place like this. We have to stay warm in the winter. We couldn't afford the electrical bill. Mm -hmm. Our electric bill, you figured, average around $2,500 a month. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Think about heat. What about air conditioning? No, we don't have air conditioning. We have them in certain locations. That's a beautiful building down there. You can't see it, but we'll show you. That's where the Daughters of Zion can go and fellowship. We have a swamp cool in here that it keeps us where the brothers go. We mm -hmm. have another building whereby it's air conditioned. That's where the young people go. They, they fellowship and all that. We have an upstairs where they play pianos and they go up there and fellowship. We have places. And the elders among us, the old mother among us, sure, we put one in her house because she's old, all right? One in my office and that's it's just enough to keep the office at bay when it gets around 85 degrees. I turn that out. I don't live any different than him. No. I eat no different than him. I get right. no kind of service that he doesn't get. Right. I'm going to serve him because why? He serves me. And we serve each other. Yes. And he can attest to that. Come on, sure. ride with me. Sure. Let me get on my Cadillac. And I want to look at a few things. You got to get busy here. I want to show you. It, it, you can't do this on nothing. <laughs> Let nobody kid you. When I come there, we'll get my own house. No, you're not coming here doing that. Put it on me, son. You're not going to come here get your own house. You're not going to own nothing but everything. He owns everything like me. Yes. That's why we're going to do it the same and live the same. I've got a big old $1,500 for my house. You ought to see his house. He got a big house. Here I, here I am, just my Ishaw and I, and I got a 3,000 square foot house. That's evil of me. He gets the 3,000, I get the 800 square foot. Look at our babies feeding the cows over there. Look at them. Beautiful cow. That's right. And you all get the apples to feed them? All right, you got the boys here, so they can get them down. You can't get any? Huh? You don't like to throw them apples? Get some apples. Get us some, man. All right, we're going to turn around. But they may understand what nature is and the beauty. They understand where their food comes from. Don't climb up on the limb. Don't hurt yourself now. It's one thing I told them that when it comes to Preparing food, I would say to them, well, Papa, we gonna kill a cow. I said, no, we're gonna butcher a cow. We butcher our animals. We don't kill them. We butcher them. This is our Akim over here doing a little job. Listen, just a bit of me, Zakim. Let's just weed this down, all right? Okay. Those over there, don't they? You know, what time do you have to leave, Akchingo? Huh? You have to leave at that time or you have to cut away? Okay, all right. 
Uh, he's a little tired, all right? Now, okay, just let him cut away a little early, all right? I got it. All right, just weed those out. I got it. Look at, the, look at the beautiful sheep over here. Just living here. So, look at that. And they all are pregnant. Look at that. I go to the number we're harvesting watermelons. And look at the sweet potatoes over there. Look at that. Those are sweet potatoes. Look how beautiful they look. We're going to have yams all during the winter. Look at the okra. The beans. Beans are coming up. The tomatoes. We got uh, tronchuro, kale, cabbage kale. We got cabbage college. Look at the beauty of the corn. That's gone. We got corn coming up we have for tabernacle. We'll plant all kinds of things here. Broccoli, cabbage. And I'll let you see how I do that starting tomorrow, all right? And we got cantaloupes and things in this space right here. You can't do this for free. It takes money. It takes an unselfishness. That's why it's only a few of us, because people are selfish. You know you are. It's not because we're crude and cool here. It's because we are uns we are so selfish. We think about no one but me. I want to live a life like that. Torah commands us to have our ach ach uh, the bath, like we love ourselves. Yes. And this is how you show love here. And this is paramount to our continuance as a community. We have a huge dump truck. You see all this wood, there's a pallet place that they let me have that. And we'll put those in those bins and take them to the homes. Let me show you this operation. It costs to buy this kind of equipment that we have. You have to pay for this. This is not free. You can't give $10 a week and you're spending 300. That doesn't happen here. You're not gonna come here and do that. Period. Well, I won't come, but we made it this far without you. We give all, all of us. And no one goes liking, believe me. No one goes liking. No one is hurting for anything. No, that's true. Nothing. Let's go over here. See my Akshimbre. He's on the big, big dozer. Look at him. This is our Akshimbre. The one that preached yesterday. Look how he's working that bad boy. Ah, oh, look at him. He's a champion. Get out and get top shit. That's him. is up here. He's on the skid loader. The scrapper here. Let's get around and see him. to have things like this at a place like this. And this is not cheap stuff. No. Nobody gives it to you. Let me get Big Daddy. He doesn't know. Spending all that time, all that diesel, all that one thing. Big Daddy. Come on, big. This is Big Daddy. 
the jack of every trade. He doesn't try to master none, but he gets it done. Yes, sir, that's right. Look at him. <laughs> All right, Big Daddy. You understand we use this wood here. We put it in our huge furnace to make hot water. We make hot water here, we, but we need wood to do that. Look at that thing, watch. Nobody's going to change that. We don't compel no one to live here. We're not going to change for you. We change for the betterment of each other. That's how we do it. We're not going to make things appeasing to you. Your flesh is going to be tried, your will here, and you're going to be corrected here. Yes. But we don't have no abusive lordship. I don't give a damn what anyone says. That's right. Well, why are all the people gone? Let me ask you a question. You will say that you have turned to Yah and your whole family turned against you because you came out the apostolic way. Why did they do you that way? You're such silly people. Yes. Come on, my son, let's ride. You have to have these things to feed yourself. If we had no electricity, I'll show you what we got. We got enough to keep our power going. Mm -hmm. We got a generator that will power the entire community. Yes. And we can, we will be all right. Well, what about if there's some way to cook? Oh, we, we got stoves to cook on. Mm -hmm. Wood stoves, we got grills. Yes. Come on, we're not like you all. We got plenty. Yes. These are fascinating achim. A chimney on that thing. Look at him again. Look how he's working on it. Can I tell you the story on this whole door, sir? Let me get off for a minute. I want to take it to school. I purchased this bulldozer. $3,200. Didn't even have the money. I said to the man, I will pay you cash. He said, I can get more for that in the junkyard because of the content of the metal. And if there is ever a redneck, he was a redneck. I don't have no problem with redneck. I might get him with redneck. Because I got the street of a Say to him, I'll tell you what, sell it to me for 3200 and the price of fuel goes up, I'll sell it back for that, uh, you take it to the junkyard here. Yeah. He sold it to us for that. I said, I said, cash, then have a nickel. You deliver it, I'll pay you. It was almost two months of pay, but we paid him. You see, these are the rednecks that I deal with, but I have no problem with the neck red. I have no problem with his neck will get red, and because he's very well, he's beyond fair spending. You understand? So this is how we do it. You must learn how to feed yourself and take care of yourself. But in order for us to do this, we must have machinery like this. Yes. And that thing has worked. You know, notice he's ginger with it because we need to replace the tracks. We don't rush it. This is the first day of the week. We'll work until about noon. We've been working all week. And I can even have to prepare for work. And so we don't overdo it, but we work. Our brow is sweat. Yeah. And you see all this stuff here? This is compost. We, 
we grow with. We, we use this stuff here. That's what it's for. Look at that perfection. I would not want to live any other way in life. As the world says it, I could have a, the world calls it a fine career, but I don't want a fine career. I got a kingdom. First of all, it's here in my mind, the kingdom blessings. To love each other, to learn how to do it. You can't do that the way you live it. You can't learn. You, you use that verb that you love every woman, but you're lying. This is how you learn how to love Yisra'i, to endure with them, to not tolerate them, to suffer with them. Mm -hmm. Their pains are your pains. You die out to your wicked, childish ways. You break your self-will nature. You mm -hmm. got it. He's a champion. We'll use this word now. We'll use this. You gotta have machinery like this. Ah. Listen, my friends, we gotta stop the video right here. And then when everything, when I finish cooking and all that, we show you the final product of that. And uh, I simply wanted you to enjoy some of this. Just see how we do things together. We work together, we assist each other. We take everything. We don't have our daughters doing this. We don't have the women in the garden. They go up there and pick things up for a meal, but they don't go harvest corn. We do it. They don't put one plant in the garden. We do it. They don't go and harvest one sweet potato. We do it. I want them to use that beautiful harvest of one out. How this harvest, we have the daughter of his home and his wife follows it precisely. Discipline to them. I don't care where they go, people marvel at them. It's so beautiful the way they dress, the way they look. They marvel at us. They, you know, they're not doing that with people. They don't tell them dress like the world, they act like the world, they look like the world. They care about the worldly food. We teach our children to love God. Yes. We celebrate here all the time. Yes. The world does it. We want them to know it's a pleasure to serve God. We have all kinds of things for our children. Yes. They enjoy it. Make them enjoy the pleasantry of each of them. Yes. They do, maybe they do all kinds of things. And I would say this and have They're probably going more places than you. And seeing more of this uh, this United States than you. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that. Yes. Uh, so like we some kind of uh, dysfunctional people. Get out of here. We'll finish this. All right, son. Let's go. You got it going? Yes, all right, my friends. Closure of the day, we're back here. I want to show you what we have. And um, go out and eat some turkey today. <laughs> this is the final result. Ah, doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Hmm? This one here is my sweet one for my babies. Ah, uh, that is beautiful. That's a sweet one. So what I'll do here, I got a little sweet sauce. This is my sweet sauce. This is my uh, apple mango juice. They love this. What it does, apple juice, when you cook on the grill, you get you a little spray. Uh, uh, what you, uh, bottle, and you spray it with apple juice or just whatever. I love the pineapple, the apple, the uh, mango peach, and you spray it, it gives it such a fragrance of taste, all right? You see that? So I'm basing it off now with that. Then what I would do with the remainder of this, this is what I base this with. This is a sauce, garlic and all kinds of things in here. This is for the children, but the adults would eat it too. So I base that with this, all right? And then what I will do, I'll pour the remainder down at the bottom. You see that? 
nice, this got a nice flagrance. I mix different juices in there, and I know that one is the sweet one because I put a label on that one. Then what I will do is get that ready for Ima Rafea, my friend. Let me call the little ones. Ima Rafea, Ima, you read me? Ima Rafea, Seri and Hadassah. Yes, I read you, sir. Seri and Hadassah, where are they? In a fellowship hall with a host you can, yeah? Send Sarah a Hadassah over here to take this to the dining hall, please. All right. Now what I'll do is wrap this up and we call my Isho in Rafael, we call a nanny, everybody. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna wrap this up. And for you, my friend, then, oh, hi, yo. I had a dream, I asked my Isho this morning, were you coming? She said, no, I thought you were coming. That's how real the dream was to me. <laughs> And if you came, you couldn't get this anyway. Now they wouldn't let you have it, all right? Yes, yes. How about that? She wouldn't let you have it. So we're gonna get this together for our precious Ima Rafael. And she'll just let it stay warm until it's time to eat. Then I'll get the young ones to clean up the dining hall for me. My little area. All right, how about that? This is ready. Oh, he's ready. That's for my little ones, for my young babies. They like this, the ones that's sweet. I got honey and I got some uh, teriyaki sauce on that. See, this is for us here. This is for the grown-ups, as they would say. I put injections of mango apple juice inside, makes it tender. The juices will break things down and you don't have to have all that salt and stuff. So I'm gonna put that here. That's the only way she's gonna fit. Uh, I'm gonna drop my towel. You all give me a hand, please, ma'am. Yes. I spray it again with some. Oh, there, you should have seen. What is you all cooking that today? You all made some what? Can what did you all make? She did. No, you talk too. You go first. Yeah, you go first. I roasted the eggplant. She roasted the eggplant. What else? That's all. That's all. That's and what did you cook? It looked nice. I did roasted, roasted cucumbers with uh, eggplant puree with tomatoes. What do you know about puree? The tomatoes and cucumbers. Okay. That sounds delicious. What about you? That sounds good. Oh, yes, sir. That sounds oh. tough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can go for that. Yes, sir. Oh, got this. Now, this is the adults one. But the young ones, they kind of, they, these children eat spicy yeah. food all the time. Yeah, hot they sauce. Like, yeah, they like all spice. these children eat hot sauce around here. You like the way it looks? Yeah. All right. So, what I would do with that, I tell them I'll just pour all this on there. Let it bake in that a little bit. A little honey and got some Hawaiian mango spices in that. And I rub this with a Cajun style rub. And when you all come back, take this in the kitchen. I want you all to come and do the dishes for me, all right? Yes, sir. Take that in there too, all right? Mm -hmm. You all, all got to take this to the nanny, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. this, you, you, Hadas, take that in the kitchen right there. In my kitchen. Do you want to do it now? Yeah, I want you to take it up there now. Money. And you all come back and... Huh? It's a it's no, you, you grab that one by the handle. Hadassah will grab this one. She's stronger than you. This one, it's not hot. No, it's not hot at all. We're going to eat up something here around four. All right, Hadassah. Sarah, run this in there for me. Throw it in the sink and that, take this back in there. And you all go, Hadassah, you take this one. Now be careful now, all right? It's a little heavy. Wait till she come back and you all take them together, all right? And look out for each other. You do that. 
You grab it like this, all right, on this side. Just hold it right there till she comes back. And I'll get my grill clean tomorrow. And I think I've had a successful day. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. I've gotten, I've planted around, I would say, mm, about 300 seeds. Everything from uh, squash to different types of uh, uh, cukes and all of that. You grab the handles on that one, Sari. They got handles. That's not hot. All right, yo, thank you so much, daughters. Have my friend here, Zakin Norm, here with us. We're going to sit here for a minute, then we're going to finish up this video when we sit down in the dining hall to eat. We have oxtails and all those wonderful things. You know, it's the, the world will get together every weekend with folly and drunkenness and drinking, and we're not going to do that here. Mm -hmm. Now we have some iced tea. Mm -hmm. And they get together every weekend. Their families, they get together every weekend. Everybody comes. Mm -hmm. Nieces and aunts and cousins. Yeah, right. And they don't care for each other. They'll be jealous of one another. Yeah. Why is it that the people of y'all have no kind of ability to socialize in a very intimate way? You're sad. Why would not they want to be around each other? They, can, they want to be around everyone but each other. They love being around folly and foolishness. Mm -hmm. And so we can feed ourselves uh, wonderful things. Look at all the hubs and things we got there. Tomatoes, the children eating, they cook some today, the young daughters. We got all kinds of hubs to make things wonderful. Simple community whereby no gunshots, if there's any gunshots, we're knocking down deer and uh, things we can hunt or a turkey. Mm -hmm. But there's no foolishness here, and we're not going to tolerate it. No one is going to come here and try to alter anything or tell us what to do. We're not going to let you do that. You can forget that. Mm -hmm. You may go some other place, but here you're not going to do that. You're free to visit. We welcome all that come in. Shalom. Just sit down with us and enjoy us. Don't come here trying to teach us nothing. Mm -hmm. We didn't find you. You found us, all right? right? So come with a delight that we can fellowship and enjoy the pleasantry of food, and you don't have to pay for no food if you visit us. We eat extremely well. Yes. Extremely well. It's all clean. Mm -hmm. It's all prepared correctly by the daughters of Zion. Even on the Shabbat. No, we don't cook on the Shabbat because you shouldn't be cooking. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do anything, eat a sandwich. But even we have the facility, we have uh, 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 equipment to facilitate us. We've got uh, ovens that are what they call Shabbat ovens. You don't have to touch nothing at all. You program them the day before. That thing will come on for how long you want it to, and it is shut right off and keep things warm. So you don't have to do those kinds of things. Our sisters are not in the kitchen laboring. We right. we eat in a way where we don't have to work, and they have fellowship that evening. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Achim. So we're not going to allow you to do that. Come and fellowship with us and see us. We're going to close this video. we got one more extension. When we get in the dining hall, our friend will show you what kinds of delicacies we're going to have. Everything from pound cake to banana pudding. My issue asked me, which one do I want? I said, all three. That's <laughs> right. I want the banana pudding, I want the pound cake, and I want the peanut butter cookies. I want all of them. I'm going to eat yes, some of all of them, all right? Yes, so we'll close today with the latter part when we sit in the dining hall at four and show you the very beautiful delicacies that we're going to eat, all right? So we close late on for you, all right? Shabbat Shalom for now. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom, Israel. Look at all this wonderful food. Prepare right here in Teshu. Oxtail. Have turkey. Beans and rice. Our homegrown sweet peas. Mashed potatoes. Or potato salad. 